starting up. Awesome. All right. I do have you added now, do I not? Uh, go for I it. Uh, let me type it in here real quick. Slippy slap, isn't it? It's actually sippy slappy. Uh, there's two eyes instead of uh, one L. So. With two eyes? Yeah, S I I P P Y. It's like and then slappy. Yeah. There you go, Castrain. Yeah, okay, that should be that figured out and that figured out. Oh, we're in champ selects. Uh, yeah, we're in champ selects. Okay, I'm gonna join my spectating. You can, you can do this. Go for it. Uh, I need an, an invite. What? To to go into the. Watch the stream for it. Okay, the way to be a little bit late. Intel, we can't get into the loading screen. Right, but if he invites me to spectate, I can. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Oh, well, all right. So I'll just I'll go off the stream. Um, all right. So we do have. I haven't seen these teams play before, but they do look like they're. This they're is all... the same teams, is it not? Yeah, same team. Uh, I mean, I don't. I haven't seen them play previous games. Like individual players, so I'm not sure if they're trying to cap high bomb. <laughs> uh, I can't tell. We have Repugnant giving a shout out to his mother, the best woman in his world, the Much only love. one he can show all the appreciation towards, the one that birthed him. He exited her womb valiantly as the soldier he is. So we do we do have uh, Shivani and Thresh being picked up by Burper again. Um, Nami being picked up by Rise Above as well. They are going to switch over to a Caitlyn this time, however. That's a good pick. Caitlyn's got a lot of range. She's she's high mobility with that net. Good escapes. She's got that flash as well, that barrier. Her ult at long range is so deadly. Even, like, I find using a Caitlyn ult is so fun if you have no communication on the team you're facing. Because sometimes they both use their flash and you still get the kill. It's the best outcome in the Caitlyn ult. This, yeah, that's very true. You never end up missing it. Mince gets that Thresh again. Oh, we do that's have... Amazing. A movie. Literally the only champion he can play. Shots fired! Chat's getting lively here. I'm not, I'm not quite seeing the, the chat over here. <laughs> game's starting up here. Oh, sorry, I am wrong. I was him minimizing the game for some apparent reason. <laughs> we have Amumu, Caitlyn, and Nami locked in here for Team Rise Above. We also have Sexmints on that Thresh again. We have Shivana picked out again. Vi picked out again. Draven picked A lot of the same picks picked out here by Burt Burt. Yeah. They might and end they up exactly They did like their here. team. They did try to ban out Annie because they did not like that that area of effect stun. However, they, did not they like were able to pick up a move, and a move's all will be the, pretty much the same problem. If we're not, gonna like, see Trilly playing Katarina, he had it last pick. He still could get countered. A nice Cassidy would come in here from whoever the mid, from mid lane mid laner for uh, Burt Burt. Uh, which would ooh. be Burt Burt himself. See, this may be a problem. Rise above has locked in. Katarina they have as the Katarina. Character. And the problem I see with locking in uh, Katarina first... She's well, so easily countered. Very easily. She's very weak against a lot of champions. However, we did see this in a game we were watching before, that when Katarina does get on on a killing spree, she becomes a huge problem throughout the rest of the game, and she can huge. just carry That's her team. Problem. I main Katarina, and I think I've said it before, I'll say it again. She's... Such a great champion. Uh, people say she's a noob champion. I will disagree. I find she takes a lot of skill to have timing with... Timing the kills and her abilities before the resets, I find is a skill in its own, and I enjoy playing her amazingly. And I love seeing a good Katarina gameplay. I really hope Trilly pulls this out. Sorry, Tipsy. Uh, formerly known as Trilly, if I'm not mistaken. Teemo will be a Teemo counter. That will Teemo be is not being picked. That is a troll. If that is picked, I will be surprised. I do believe he's just messing with us, but we might be wrong. I hope he's. I hope he picks Teemo, just because this will be fun. 
It, please oh, I know. Yeah, he was just messing with us. He's going to go over to Oriana. And Oriana will be very, very strong against Katarina. She does have a disengage, and she will be able to get a lot of pokes in on Katarina, denying her farm. Our top lane is going to be Jax against Shivana, and this is the second time Shivana has been ca countered. Um, so she will end up behind again in the beginning. However, we did see her come out in the end because of, of her build, and Shivana just being such a strong character. However, Jax can be a problem when he gets all that free farm and when he potentially gets fed. We still haven't experienced the uh, minute and a half delay that we are going to have to experience here. All right, I will be right back. I will be back for probably when the loading is done. We're going to, casters are going to take a quick break until the game has begun. Take five. All right, we are back. We have a minute, about a minute left on the delay here, so it seems. Give or take. 55 oh. seconds, actually. I'm in. I uh, I pulled off uh, spectate for, from Burpert. Oh, I am not in yet. I will be another couple seconds. Um, we were corrected earlier. Uh, Tipsy is not, in fact, really. Who Oops. said that in chat earlier? I'm pretty sure no one. I think you're losing your mind. I think you might be right. <laughs> Is that what caused Lee's uh, outburst of saltiness? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this this unnatural focus on salt, though. You may need to get that checked out. Salty. Maybe you seeing our commentary is very salty. Probably. Five seconds left on the delay. Really? I th oh, now I can finally get in there. You sure can. Yay. In the words of a wise Disney star, yay me. <laughs> <laughs> Use the term wise very loosely, loosely, I assume. Very. Double meaning on loose. Ooh, ouch. That is my childhood, good sir. It's okay, it's fine too. <laughs> <laughs> we have everybody loaded in. Obviously, way ahead of this. Tipsy rocking that kitty cat Katarina. Assumably from the re-release re of the skin. But if I'm wrong, I am sorry, Tipsy. That'll be two for O. That's two strikes. You can kick me in the nuts on the third. We also have uh, another four skin coming out here for... Uh, for uh, Team Rise Above. 
It's actually a switch over. I believe it was. Uh, Bert, it was, Bert it was definitely Bert Bert last game that had the foreskin, but this game is rise above. They they might win this because of the foreskin. It just it might be that strong. That is true. We did we saw that we saw Bert Bert losing in the beginning, but it was because of that foreskin that they were able to come back. That's true. That foreskin kept them alive. I need to hear what someone say one time. The better your champion looks, the more likely you are to win. There might not be a lot of ability behind that, but for now, we will make a statement. Let's roll with it. That's all we can do. However, we do have, we have a lot of sex appeal on Rise Above's team. We have Kitty Cat Katarina and Officer Caitlyn. Both there is a lot, sure of, a lot of sex cats. appeal. That yeah, bone claw bone Shivana just not not passing it for me, nor is the robot Oriana or the normal Vi skin. Those are just not as attractive. Even Koi Nami is, is beating those three those three females in this skin competition. We have the sad Amumu trying to blow kisses to this officer, just not getting the date. All right. So, so everyone, yeah, everyone is still loaded in. We are just waiting to be punched into the game. We like foreskin, don't we? Foreskin. No comment on that one. Foreskin is the way to go in League of Legends. Let's 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 be really <laughs> honest here. Okay, we're being we're being raged at for saying. We are in game here. We have items being picked up by Draven picking up that Dorans. Oriana picking up that Dorans. We got Machete coming out by that jungle Amumu. We got K picking up that Dorans. Lots of Dorans apparently. We're using it just as much as we use Foreskin. As lots of Dorans. Dorans shield. Dorans ring. Dorans blade. All of the Dorans are going to need some Doran's cream. Welcome All right. Nami picking up that ancient coin. She wants that that two gold every extra minion that that will stack up for her as so long as she's in in lane. Thresh Smart is thing. doing the same. Thresh is doing the same to ensure that extra gold. Very, they are very useful on range carries or range supports right now. Um, it does look like Burper is going to look for another invade. There might be an engagement this time. Rise Above does have that ward in blue, so they will see if this. Oh, the Amumu being spotted by the team. No hook landed. Burper just forcing their way into the blue area. It's going to be another tr blue trade off. There, there might be. They might be. No, they're not going to be gutsy. Um, they're just going to go for the blue. They were thinking originally. Of coming to stop them here. They don't know they're seen. This this could be a counter. Cat could come in here for this pickup as well as Jax. They they do have the vision advantage right now. However, it will be a three on two if they decide to. They might just that is the true. Seal. Oriana did not spot that Jax or that cat. Uh, they know what's about to happen. Have Oriana <laughs> coming in with that ward. Everything's safe now. So it is going to be a blue trade. Katarina getting into her lane. Jax bouncing around the mid lane, wanting to get to that top lane. I would not call it safe. Get this looks like Draven and Thresh are going to put a significant. Oh no, they're able to pick it up with Smite and just walk off. That was the smartest thing that the Amumu could do is use the Smite instead of saving it. There was too a little bit of pressure there. You didn't want Thresh getting that for sure. Hooks coming out whenever they could, and that would not be good for that bottom lane. Especially in season four, the cooldown on Smite is much lower. You don't have to worry about popping it when you're doing those invades. Exactly, because you'll have it up sooner than you can think. We have some auto attack poke coming from this Caitlyn onto this Draven. We have top lane here, keeping away from each other, just playing the CS game. Both of them not really exchanging damage at all. Uh, Shivana wants to. Start getting that damage out, but Jax. Yeah, she will come out on top of that because of her minion wave. There is that damage over time that isn't coming from her auto attacks with that oh, W. Going well, in, she's she pick up this her that ignite picks it up. Very good start for Shivani, especially against that counter. She has eliminated that advantage that Jax was going to have on her. Right, lands the hook on Nami, but Draven gets hit by the bubble, not to do any damage there. We have Oriana. Just playing defensively in her lane, trying to pick up that CS from that cat, throwing out a bit of auto attack poke. We have double buff Vi coming in for a gank. 
Charge is successful. Misses it. Tipsy taking a bunch of damage. Vi can get close enough to activate this red buff. Well, Amu's coming in for the save, though. It's a Amu three on and Tommy, They're this all is... dangerously low. The... She picks up the Amumu and the double buff reset. Going for the Nami. Going to... Nice flash. It flashed. It's not enough, though. She will be ignited. She will be down for the count. Takes the kill and Thresh in there for some support. We have Caitlyn full health. Didn't even realize what was happening. We have Oriana returning to lane and Vi with that double buff just refresh. There's nothing better than that. This Vi's jungle is going to go extremely well. Burpert ahead 3 0. 1.3k through 1.4k gold ahead. Yeah, and it's in top lane, we do see Jax pushing all the way to the tower. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be backing off into his own jungle or if he's just going to stay in lane and wait it out. But because of that early kill, the first blood that Shivana picked up, she will have a nice gold lead on him and won't have to worry too much about his harass. Because of Vi right now, they might need to kill of damage to that Jax. Jax is barely scratching her. Da Minion's doing just as much damage to her as Jax. Oh, we have an engagement down bottom. A good, a good gank from a move, but it won't be enough. Draven will pop a flash and get away. We have a ping coming down. MIA from the... From the Rise Above team. Calling that out. He's pushing the lane. Missing a CS there, but picking up the rest. He's gonna head towards the bottom lane. Put a ward in the bottom bush of mid. He will now be pretty safe to ganks. Yeah, he's got both those. You see a lot of Vi's coming in from that uh, that Wraith camp. They they jump the wall with the Q. That's a good gank potential, especially even on the sides of the uh, top and bottom bushes where there's no vision. That's a good place to come from that Q. I think we're going to see a kill up top here. Vi with the... Yeah, we're going to see some of the initiation. He's got his counter up to stun, landed on Shivana only. She missed her... I do believe that is E. If you're not sure, you can just click on her and it tells you. It is, in fact, her E. It is most definitely her flame breath, her E. <laughs> she hit that one, though. Good harass coming from that skill, especially Shivana. Not a mana champion. She she's, uses that... Uh, is that... Nothing. She doesn't use anything. She Sage. gains fury as she... Sage. Fury, sorry. Yeah. That's what it cheats her, or activates her ult. You got Bill laughing at you on that one. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah. muted. Whoops. <laughs> muted. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Good it's... Shivana. Definitely ahead in this top lane. Cat and Oriana going back and forth. Not a lot of damage being placed, though. Oriana is ahead of Katarina right now for gold because of that first kill they were able to pick up from the gang. Um, we do have Katarina going down bomb for a gang. Don't th see much coming of it though. She yeah. will be supported by that ward and head back to mid. We have Vi reuniting herself with her bottom jungle. Ward's coming down there just for extra protection. We have this. Might be in trouble here. Off lane. She's in a damage. very bad position to be huh. caught out by a move. Oh no, he's just gonna let her go off. He doesn't have enough damage early too. She is really definitely way too strong for him at this current point. His man is very low. He's just trying to pick up some CS so it doesn't all go to tower. We are seeing Shivani dominating this lane though. She's proxying on she was proxying before Mu came by. And she is definitely forcing Jax out of the lane. She's about fifteen CS ahead of him right now, and she does have that extra kill. Ghetto Sox coming into his blue, seeing Shivana there, she jumps out, he picks it up with the smite. Katarina coming in for some support see, find, to find nothing. Shivana safely recalling in that bush. Oriana's picking up blue also from Vi. Uh, she's going back to lane. Kat will be at a disadvantage here because she, well, not too much. Um, she does have low, low enough cooldowns and she doesn't have to worry about the mana. Uh, Oriana might pose a threat now, actually, but we have a move babysitting a bit. Looks like he'll wander off, do some counter juggling, actually. Draven and Thresh what? controlling this bottom lane. Not much can be done by by Rise Above here. Sexman is just standing there, knowing he can land a hook on one of them if he wanted to. Keeping them at bay, trying to counter some of that EXP. Zone them out. 
Oh, no, further there ahead. Cost, they, but they, his lightning is all. They are gonna pop enough damage. No. Katarina is gonna flash in for it and actually pick up the kill. Pick up the blue. She takes an extra tower hit. She does have that blue buff though. As long as she can find safety recall, she should be fine. She's she's sitting on a, a grand and a half almost. So she should go back. Maybe pick up some items. Refresh her health. She'll be fine. Thresh coming into this to this Amumu. Missing the hook. Amumu just stepping right up to him. Low health. Doesn't care. We have Cat stopping her recall. Just not looking for the dive. Not looking for any given kills. No throws here by Team Burt Burt. Thresh will clear out the, the trinket in the bush, however. Um, they look like they m might be pushing out mid now because they saw Katarina go back. Probably going to back off, though. Uh, Shivani is starting to roam, or no, no, she's just playing, placing a ward, that's my bad. Good river ward though, that does, that does seek that, uh, pathway there. She can see any lane exchange by, uh, by a river invade. She is, she is definitely coming out on top of all her exchanges with Jax. 100%. 100%, she is just control, she is way ahead of this lane. CS ahead, one kill up. She's she's got all the damage she needs at this point in the game. She's a level over, maybe a little bit more. She's her team is just ex excelling right now. She is gonna engage again. So it's much damage. All and done, but it's back, not but he always gets back to his tower. He knows his limits. He's he's not afraid to exchange. He's maybe looking for the dive onto the tower to see if he could, you know, counter and pick up a kill of his own. Yeah. He is Nothing good here. Jack players do look for that a lot. Um, Cause they are able to pick up that counter stun under tower so that anybody diving early levels is pretty much taken out by the three tower hits they're gonna take no matter what. And he also has that passive that he can start laying down once they're stunned under tower taking all of the damage. His third attack will do that insane boost of damage. Under tower it's just too much. He would have picked up the kill during a dive. It's Jax's specialty. We have Vi coming in here for a flank on a Mumu top lane, looking for the dive. Lots of minions there to do damage to her. She doesn't care. She's gonna take the damage. Lance her ult. Shivana lance her ult. Lance Mumu ult lands the stun and the damage to toss. She's and the flash away. Him, but Shivana picks up it as well. And it's an exchange one for one. We have Katarina placing a ward in her bush, but spotted by that Oriana ward in that pathway. Was that an Oriana ward or was that a Vi when she was going up? Over where? This uh, one up here by Baron, or in the pathway of Baron. Um, that is actually, I don't think that's Oriana's, I believe that might have been Vi's. I think you might be right. Yeah, because oh, Vi does not have any, does not have the ward trinket, she has the sweeping, sweeping lens. Yeah. So she is going to be buying her own wards as she's going through jungle. That is true. Yeah. Um, we don't have anybody on Rise Above picking up that sweeping trinket, in fact. So they won't be taking out too much war coverage from Burper. However, they will have quite a bit of their own war coverage on the map. And we saw last game that they were really building on that early game. They we have a Vi gank here, top lane on this Jax. Jax taking a lot of damage here, trying to escape, uses that flash, but the red buff is just too much. His doesn't get to safety with that ward, and he is picked up by that Vi. Vi's looking good, 2-0 oh in that jungle. Definitely ahead of that Amumu, with that Amumu having two deaths. She's got a... Amumu's got boots over her, but she's ahead in the gold, and that is what counts. Yeah, we are going to see them pick... We're going to see uh, Rise Above actually taking a tower here, though. Uh, they have the four bottom, and Draven and Fresh were forced to go back. Oriana is pressuring mid-tower. Katarina is coming back. I might won't be in time to stop any aggro, but she might be able to do some significant damage here if she decides to. Katarina uh, picking up that haunting guys. It's going to do a lot for her in the later game. She's going to turn that into a Leandri's. It's going to be... She's going to be pretty well off. There's a fight here for this blue buff. They're just... Is going... Oh, we can't just pick up by the ult, but is disengaged by the ult. is pushed out. The Mumu get... An amazing ult by Oriana, keeping everybody in...
position. Amumu being taken down by the Vi. Cat coming in from back, but nothing to happen. She, she might get caught out here. She knows she can't do an ult because of Draven's knockback, as well as uh, Vi's dash would both interrupt. She does want to get that damage. She does want to have that vision on the dragon. Maybe get it. The steal would not be worth it. She's getting too close. She's going to get caught here. Yeah. Vi cancels the we dash. Have Shaq's going in on Shivani top. Uh, they are playing relatively safe against each other. Shivani is respecting his out his damage curve. He has definitely reached it now that he's got his uh, Ninja Tabby and... The game is paused by, I think, inwards. He was sitting there AFK. There was an issue maybe happening there. Yeah. He, inwards has disconnected from the game. We will have a brief pause, brief delay. Yeah, so let's take a look at uh, all the CS and everything right now. Um, we do see Shivani a good 15 in CS ahead of Jax. We, we're seeing her dominating that lane. She's picking up her first item as a... Um, it looks like a uh, Sunfire Kate. She will definitely be able to take a lot of damage from Jax after that. Um, Jax, however, picked up the Ninja Tabby, so he would be able to take a lot of her the damage she was inflicting to him. And without any extra damage items, it actually won't be too much against him with that armor with his alts. Um, he also picked up a Buildroid Cutlass, which will be good later on, especially with all well, the lifesteal. He's able to actually trade back with her now. In middle lane, like you said before, we have the Haunting Guys on Katarina, which will be very strong. However, Oriana has two kills under her belt, as well as uh, nine more CS. She is building into the Athena's Grail, which will help her counteract uh, that cat's um, magic pen. We haven't seen them really engaging middle. Uh, however, there was those early ganks, and they have been helping on team fights. We're, We're back, back in the game here. We have Team Burper pushing this middle lane, looking for that tower. Misses the hook though. Katarina throwing out that Q for some damage. Just gonna pick up some minions here, or at least try to. All three fighter minions taken by that tower. She picks up the casters. We have Fresh maybe getting a bit too ballsy. We have we got a spotting him. Officer Not landing the bandage toss though. We have him picking up Caitlyn. Wow, Assassin Thresh, who would have thought? We now have Team Rise Above invading in this team, looking for that Draven. Lands the Bandage Toss, lands the ultimate. Yes, lands the ult. ultimate. Katarina goes in with her ultimate, the reset is up. We have Sexmints trying to get away from this fight. He does land the hook on the minion to force himself away. The knockback, but the bubble is just too much, and Cat is gonna want to pick up this kill and she does oriana backing off to meet up with the Vi. they're gonna want to take that blue buff they're not gonna want to be countered any more than they already just were two kills picked up by team rise above here yeah we have shivani really pressuring this tower up top with Jax, and she's inflicting a lot of damage while being under she is showing she has picked up uh, a Vampiric Scepter as well as a Sunfire. Oh, we have I stopped Cat's recall, but getting engaged on, was it worth it? Maybe. Oriana putting some damage on Cat as well. Too much for Cat to handle, and she gets picked up by that Oriana. That Vi definitely was worth to stop that Katarina. Oh, we do have a... Teamwork. Looks like Jack's going down top. No, he's going to make it out because of his ultimate. A move might be able to pick up this kill on, on Shivani if he decides to chase it down, but she's outputting enough damage right now that he has to yeah, reconsider no especially mana. Not mana. Zero mana. Can't yeah. fight back. He's gonna wanna meet up with his team, maybe act like a tank for a bit. We have Oriana defending this tower and its last sliver of health by herself. Vi just showing up to the party with full health, maybe giving her some slack. Thresh coming at him for a landing hook on Amumu. Amumu uses the flash to escape, but Vi's chase is just too much. Oh. Amumu catching their guard off so Nami can escape to the tower. We have Cat coming in here off of the side looking for a bit of support, but meets her support back in lane. We have Oriana picking up some of the CS. Shivana's help with some poke. We have Thresh going to bottom lane looking for a hook on that Caitlyn, but Caitlyn knows he's there. 
Gonna try to get away. Lands the ult. Inevitably, that buy. I was gonna say, it's not hard for... It's pretty hard for Vi to miss her ult. It is a lock-on. <laughs> That's where the inevitably comes. <laughs> I'd slip into a save. Uh, we did see Vi pick up... More clear. The more red, clear. And they might be trying to go in on Kat here, but Kat's gonna be... Over the wall with the Vi. She knows there was somebody there attacking them golems. They were aggroed. Amumu lands the bandage toss and the ult on Bert Bert. Kat picks it up. The resets are too much, but Kat gets... Saved by that Nami problem. Absolutely. Saved. The lantern is down for Thresh. Sexman's going in, looking to put his ult down, maybe throw a hook out. He's waiting for the first He puts his walls down now. He's going to try to... Disengage, peel that off a little bit, looking for that hook on that Nami, lands it. Knockback just misses that Nami with that flash to save her life. Jax coming in with a stun, picks up, picked up Thresh, Kait Caitlyn picked up Thresh. Shivana putting a lot of damage on all four, going to be five of these members. They're all low, but they they pick her up. And there's the killing spree for Caitlyn and the four for O oh, exchanged. Lots of five. Amazing. Five for O story. Oriana back up. What a long fight. They drug that out and survived it. That could be a turnaround. There was a lot. Wasn't there a shutdown there on Vi's part? Um, I believe there was, yes. Yeah, Whoever there would have been. Up, that was the first death. Gold that that Katarina, like we said, four and one, doing well for herself. Getting and fed. Going she to be is tied up with kills on Oriana now. Oriana does still have a bit of a gold lead, but it's not going to be as significant on her as it is on Katarina. Katarina might be able to carry the team back. In that team fight, I have to say, a lot of the work was done by Nami's Bubbles. They turned around a lot of points in that fight. Um, saved Jax once, saved Katarina once. Uh, Jax was able to, after coming down from top, he was able to do a lot of damage and get a lot of stuns off in that fight because it did last so long. He landed three crucial stuns in there. They just had an like, overall overwhelming CC in that fight and Katarina was able to output a lot of damage because of her cooldowns. Them resets were coming up every time she needed them to. Dished out so much damage on the enemy team, picking up so much gold off the fight. All the assists, just amazing. Jax looking for an engage, but getting nothing. That ward actually being being spared by by team rise above. I I don't know what happened. They had enough attack on that ward. There was no need for that to be there. But it is a ward in middle lane in their own side. There's no real need to get rid of it. As that is a fair assumption, it's. We have blue team with vision of this dragon looking for a counter, but they do. Team have vision Burford does have that vision. Um, they did big fresh. Oh, he's able to land it, but they did not steal Purple it. Purple team saves, the, secures the dragon. Cat with that vial on her, she does escape though. Shivana in the middle of the fight. That all from Draven picks up the cat, and he does proceed to pick up the Amumu. Caitlyn just barely escaping. Can she do it? That Nami assistance? No, the Oriana picks her up. Can this Nami escape though? That Draven does not want to dive. Nami taunting the Draven, looking for looking for some sort of peace of mind even. Yeah, we have that we just ended up with that very, very consequential engage at Dragon. That was a four for all. They pretty much just covered all the bases they lost in the previous engagement. Um Nami's probably going to be able to hand, stand off them at this middle tower, so that's not too much. But they did lose those four kills, and they did lose Dragon. I did notice that Rise Above was focusing too much damage on Shivani in that fight. Um, they weren't trying to get to the back to get Oriana, and Oriana was doing a lot of their damage, as well as Draven. And in the end, There's going to be another awesome. pause, a Mumu. Have, has a disconnection. They don't pause it, actually. They're going to proceed on that Oriana. They're going to keep the fight going. Jax picks up the Oriana. 
The Shivana being picked up as well. She uses the flash and the dragon to escape the ignite. Not enough damage to be put on her. She escapes with just under 200 health. That regen is doing well for her though. There's a fight bot lane. Nami being picked up by that Draven. Thresh actually gets the kill. It, it will be fine though. Um, I do flash knockback to... fails and Kaylin's just kiting around. She might be able to pick ends up here. The shield helps him out. She got a dump. Oh, the barrier from... This is just too much. Trippy comes in with the teleport, picks up the Thresh. Draven escaping just barely. Vi going in on this. Does she have the ult for it, though? No, she does not. That will be a one for O trade down bottom. I do not believe not. No, that will be a one for one because now we did die at the beginning there. I gotta buy a Now they pause. <laughs> Alright, yeah, because they do, they were missing a move for quite a bit there. Yeah, this pause could could be shorter this time though. I'll be right back. I'll be watching the screen. So taking a look at the matchups, uh, as before, we do see Shivani ahead right now because of her CS. Um, she has been making quite a bit of an impact. However, Jax has made has been outputting so much damage in those team fights. Uh, Oriana is still leading for damage and for gold income against Katarina. She was outputting a lot of damage in those team fights, and until she was picked off, Rise Above was not able to do much against Burbert. We we take a look at the ADCs and they're very close actually. Uh, Katarina is leading with one more kill. However, Draven has six assists. I believe he's le leading right now in gold. Yeah, he's just ahead by about 700. We have Vi and Amu, both with good clears and having good CS under their belt. However, Vi does have four kills going on and she's become very tanky and very influential in those team fights. And Amu was not in the game for the past half a minute or so with that dc they're gonna see what they're they can do about that oh he did reconnect the pause will persist until he is fully loaded in he will give the okay to his team to unpause it very shortly The game is going oh, to be resumed here. And we're back in. Alright. So, Oriana picking up that blue buff. Um, Harry is going back to lane, maybe CS a bit. She's actually going to recall. Maybe there's something she needs to buy. She's, she's sitting on a thousand gold right now. She does pick up an amplifying tome and two cloth armor. She's going for that Zonia's. She is going to want that considering her. She's going to be the main focus for Team Burper. Team Burper excelling in this game. Four and one, five with a six and three Oriana. They are so strong, but there is so much counter potential for this for this enemy team rise above you see that cat coming out with a lot of damage that Leanne or that haunting guys and that Rabadon's death cat giving her a lot of AP we have a lot of pressure coming from team Burt Burt here in the mid lane looking for that tier 2 tower be that much closer to the win that much more map control rise above is gonna see a lot more trouble in these team fights though if they don't manage to, um... Amumu's recalling, that's not smart. 
There is engage. There is an ult from a Mumu, but he gets melted be before he even gets into the fight. He is melted, and Team Burp Burp just picking up kill after kill. Ultimate canceled because Sexminus was picked up. There is a lot of, lot of going, a lot of things going on right now. So far, two for two. Team Rise Above handling it, handling their own, actually getting out of the fight, but they're going to be pushed. Inwards disconnecting this time. There's going to be another pause in the near future. Oh, uh, he is. Oh, he's back up. Yeah, that was a two for two fight there. Um, that was a very good engage by Burt Burt, in my opinion. They did take too many hits under tower, and that is why they did lose their. They did lose, I believe it was Thresh in that. Thresh died. Um, Moose going to defend bomb tower. Well, I was looking to take that up, but she's not anymore. She's going to be pick up some items. Yeah, finishing off that spe Spectral's cow. She is building towards Banshee's Veil, I believe. We have that cat also finishing her Seeker's Arm Guard. Looking for that little bit of resistance, that armor there. Countering that Vi, countering that Draven. A lot of damage coming up from both of those. This, even Shivana. Lots of AD damage that, that those cloth armors can at least fight against the tad bit. We have Amumu going bot lane, getting hooked, missing his bandage, putting on his tears though. They're gonna want that Draven. He's kiting the Draven, gets picked up actually, but Caitlyn gets the ult on Draven and Katarina comes in for some support, gets the assist, puts some damage out on that. She's gonna keep going. She does have her ult at her disposal. She's gonna wait until the knockback is used. She's gonna wanna wait until the hook's used. There's the ult, the pickup, 300 gold. Played that smooth, more than smooth. She didn't over exert herself. She knew her limits. Vi's coming from the back though. I do believe Kat and Caitlyn can hold off this Vi. They don't know she's there. Does look like Jax the a kill against Oriana mid as well. Vi's coming in, she's doing the damage, she's focusing Caitlyn, but Kat just wants to take that tower down. She has so much health, so much durability, she takes down the Caitlyn. She's now using the red buff to chase this Cat. Cat has Shun Po up, can use it on a ward, a minion wards it. Gets chased by the Vi. Vi is so persistent. Shivana's coming. She's got that ult too. There's nothing Cat can do, and Cat is picked up by Malpy. That Vi for Team Burt Burt. Burt Burt just excelling in this game, picking up this dragon completely uncontested. That vision ward of Draven's skull, knowing, keeping their safety. Uses Smite to pick that up. Jax recalling top lane. Oriana's picking up all this CS. Mid lane's being pushed by the blue minions. Amumu's coming in to meet her the support Nami. They're going to travel together into this mid lane. Vi's going to pick up some of the CS and counter push. So much going on. Wards everywhere. I'm surprised we haven't seen a Baron attempt by uh, Team Burper yet. They did such an early Baron attempt that helped them turn around last game. This That could be all they need to secure this game. That is true. They, are, they do have an 8 K gold lead at the moment though. They're that is probably not worrying too much about it. They're probably looking to take objectives and push in on their base. 8k gold advantage. That six and one by eight and three Oriana sitting on so much gold. Eleven K gold for that Oriana. She is just excelling at a hundred and ninety one creep score at twenty eight minutes in. Excelling in her lane against this Katarina. Yeah, and that was the problem we were talking about in the beginning. Katarina is easily counterpicked, and we did see that. Oh, Oriana might get picked off here. No, she's able to disengage. Gets ulted by a move. Barely making it out by the skin of her teeth. Team Burford going in on this. They really don't have no reason not to. Doing well. Three kills so far. Jack's being picked up next. Four kills, all they need is this Caitlyn, and then they can push mid lane, possibly win this game. Oriana's way ahead of them, already pushing the lane. Change. There is, there is nothing, nothing that Rise Above can do right now. There, this inhib is a potential pickup. Either that, they're going towards the Baron area, 
This could be the Baron that they are talking. No, Oriana is recalling. They don't need Oriana for this though. They might be able to pick it up just with Draven. Oh, elf, I hope they don't over. Oh, that Draven damage though. A lot of DPS there. Shivana at full health will be doing a lot of the tanking here by pushing her limits with that shield. There's just so much damage and life steal coming out from this team Burpert on this Baron. We have Nami not knowing what to do, getting caught up in this, not actually stealing that. The cat's coming in. She might be able to pick up the destroyed right after she activated her ult. That was a complete shutdown by Team Burp Burp. Sexmans get hit by that bubble, but Vi is just going in as strong as Vi can go. We have Shivana at the front of the fight there. Looking for a hook over the wall by this Thresh. Throwing that ward out to see where his limits are. Doesn't get hit by that bubble. Does want that hook, though. Nothing's going to happen about it. That is a 2 for 0 for Team Burp Burp. 29 to 15. One tower behind but so far ahead absurdly ahead I, I i will note that i do believe the mo that most of their damage was coming oh it, it, he sold it you miss it before but from amumu is just oh the fresh lantern was the safety net for that vi and Jax. just not close enough the walls slow him down but amumu lands the bandage toss we have katarina coming in with so much damage the Ignite on Sexman. Sexman's picked up so much damage on Oriana, but Oriana gets close enough to Jax to pick up the kill. Cat picked up by da the damage from Draven. A pointless ult from Caitlyn. Barely touching the Draven now with that lifesteal, bringing him to full health. Caitlyn's ult won't be back up for a bit. She's getting out of the range. The bubble lands. Can she be close enough? Complete wasted ult by, by Burp Burp. Oh, is she going to pick up? No. Oh, oh. Special picks up the kill so close to tower and Burpert standing there as a taunt Will be the taunt that they need Will be the taunt that they need can they pick this up? Will inwards be able to land a bubble? Yes, he does. Oh, it's not close enough to tower though He will get the recall will Nami throw another bubble for the kill and she will it. it won't hit he picks up the kill the tower is just enough to oh he takes the extra hit oh he barely gets up by the skin of the oh my god he knows his limits katarina full health wanting to look to poke this shivana and this fly away both with baron jacks just forcing the minions away from the inhib keeping it alive just trying to keep those super minions at bay maybe looking for a team fight turnaround they won't be able to get it though baron's still up for Three, four, four out of the five members of Team Burpert. Five out of five of members. Nope. Thresh lost his Baron buff. You are looking at a 19k lead at this point. It's quite. 19,000 gold lead. 34 kills. Double the kills. 16, 16 is 34. This is amazing. Well played game. I can't believe Team Rise Above is defending themselves so valiantly. Such to the teeth to the core gameplay here they're pushing out every fiber that they have to try to bring this back who knows how this can end if it is anybody's game yet we do see that burper is trying to keep a lot of vision in their jungle though because they know they have the pressure and you know they have the baron they want to stay in their they want to stay on their side of the map with all their pressure because that way they can just keep going for their inhibitors because they're both there's two of them are exposed right now if they take those out they're gonna be able to move in on their base super easily the closer they are to the enemy base as well, the, the easier the escape for the enemy is. They do not like the sounds of that. There is the engage, a kill onto Sexmans and a Mumu though. She's using that Shampo to escape, but the, oh my God, the Oriana Shockwave, just way too much to handle. The damage coming out destroys the enemy team. Jax does not know what to do. He's being fought against by Vi and he's just trying to Use that lifesteal, not enough. There's the ace, and here's the game. Here comes the ta last tower. All the inhibs will be picked up. Amumu will not be able to defend with Nami to def to help them. But this is this is GG. Yeah. I'm gonna say that that was a very close game in the beginning, but then right just after mid game, they started to snowball in, and. Although Rise, Rise Above did keep a very good defense for a long time, they 
are able to pick up those three inhibitors against them now, and they're not going to be able to defend against that with the super minions. The major factor I've seen was that Orianna is outputting so much damage in these team fights, and the best part about Orianna's kit is that she can do all this damage from a very safe distance away, and they don't have enough people. Uh, Rise Above does not have enough people on their team that can close that gap without actually being taken out. The only That's two potentials would be uh, Katarina and Jax, and we've seen them being nuked out as soon as they engaged. One, that you are completely right. That Katarina, the main focus now of Team Burpert, they do not want her initiating that ult, getting those resets, because that is what is going to melt their team. Katarina sitting on quite a bit for herself doing her lane was very strong she has that rabbitons she also has that hourglass her boots are at capacity with at sorcerer shoes maybe picking up home guard soon because she's pushed that would be a smart idea on her part with that amplifying tome i think she's headed towards finishing that leandri's torment the ult comes out just doesn't hit a mumu but the draven flashes in for the kill and picks it up he's gonna continue gets the double kill on caitlin his damage is excessive this late game. 14 and 4 Draven. He is so strong and just so well rounded. He gets picked up by the cat and the 500 gold shutdown. The lantern is down. That Katarina can dish out so much damage, but she does get so close to death. Too close to death. The laser on Shivana and on Oriana, but not, not enough. enough. The hook lands. That's GG in favor of Bird Bird 2 for O. And, and that is it. Points from this series with a amazing two game. Win. Amazing, amazing game. Burt Burt so strong. Them platinum players really shining, showing their true colors. A Deserve platinum. of that them borders. And despite all this, we were able to actually see if you were able to pick it up around Barrett. Um, uh, NS Special bought two Last Whispers, actually giving, and he sold it later on, because it obviously wasn't giving him any bonuses. So he actually gave himself quite a bit of a gold disadvantage, but he was still putting enough damage at the end of the game. So, what is our, uh, what does this break look like? What is this? What, what are we? When is our next game? Paradox versus Vigilante is next at ten thirty. We have a great, we have a great hour and fifteen minute break. Uh, we will be back at ten thirty to cast that next game, Paradox versus Vigilante. Uh, yeah. All right.